Hello everyone, I'm Paul here yeah, from CBRE. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you all and I'm guiding you all how to use my service here. Yeah. So some users have started and I believe some uh, has yet to start yet. Yeah. So this video, I hope it helps you all for the new users on how to use my service, okay? This is actually a new version of uh, WSR, yeah? So it's a new version type uh, that's been designed by CBRE, okay? Just launched uh, maybe this uh, few years back, yeah? So this is a self-registration email here. Yeah? Once your email has been registered uh, with our backend, you will receive this uh, self-registration email. So you have to follow this guide and uh, get your account started. Okay. So this is how it looks like. Um, I won't go through any de further details here. Uh, I will be showing, instead of that, I'll be showing you a tutorial how to use later on yeah? in the real MySurvice account. Okay. So yeah, actually, uh, it, it is more it is a more enhanced version of WSR. Yeah, you can use this anywhere, anytime. Yeah, desktop, tablet, smartphones. Yeah, it's very fast. Yeah, instead of calling, so save a lot of time. You just have to press few clicks away to get a report done. So yeah, yeah, the the features about it here, you can see who assigned to respond to service, will comments comment box, request details, and uh, the status progressions, everything will be in details here. You can check everything here okay, in my service. So um, once you get your report, uh, service, request, service request created, uh, there will be server status here yeah, in your service request that you all need to know. So I will be explaining you all what is the status and what is the meaning and what you need to do. Yeah? So you can see here new, right? If it's new, so meaning they say that uh, your request yet to be submitted. So you have to check back your service request and ensure it's submitted, yeah? To click click submit and uh, once once you click submit, then only CBRE will rec receive your request, yeah? The next one will be pending, uh, meaning to say that your request has been put on hold by system, okay? So what you need to do or know is that there's a possibility of duplication requests being made by station. Meaning to say, for example, morning staff has lodged this report and uh, afternoon staff lodge the same report again through my service. So there's a two reports there. So system will detect a two similar issue and will put one on hold, okay? So, if you if you have a service request been pending and you don't have any clue what happened to it, so you just have to call us and check. No worries, just give us this SR number, we will check for you. Okay. The next status will be acknowledge. Request been submitted, so no action required. CBRE will check your request. The next one will be assign. Request has been assigned. CBR has assigned the contractor for the request. Okay. The last one will be resolve. Request completed. Job completed by contractor. Okay. The last one, close or cancel, meaning to say request been cancelled. So what you need to do, check your log or comment box. Our staff will uh, drop an uh, explanation notes there why we cancel this. Okay. So the next slide. So this is the approval schedule. Okay, for the my service uh, request. It's only all in office hours and Saturday 8 to 12. So still a very important note here. If there is, if there is any emergency jobs, please call call center all the time. Yeah? So this is a, a rule of thumb here yeah, that you all need to know. Yeah? So not to report via my service. Okay, first one, if you have any case like potential loss of product, HSLC issue, nozzle in car case, accident damage case, station totally inoperative. Please call the call center immediately yeah, to report the issue. Do not use my service on this. Because the reason here is that whenever you submit a request through web portal, there is a, I mean, still still a, a, a quite some time for the, uh, for the customer service representative to go through your request. So you'll be in queue. So there will be delay in checking your reports. So Mike as well, you have just call us and uh, get the action done immediately yeah, through the phone call. Okay. 
So this is a checklist question here to ask yourself before you choose to use my service. Okay. So you have to ask yourself before you launch a report, is your business affected by the issue? Is your sales affected by it? Is there any safety concern? Is there any potential loss of product from the issue? Okay. So if any of the uh, sorry, if any of the above there is a yes, meaning to say it could be classified under emergency. So you have to call the call center immediately, okay? And do not use on my service. Okay. So this is a support here, yeah? myself here, yeah? Paul. You can just drop me an email if you have any questions. So now the next section, I will walk you through the real portal here, yeah? the real life one, how to launch a report, okay? So once you're logged in, right, you can see here the welcome message and the important note here, still saying that do not use my service if you have any emergency here. Yeah? So this is the first section here, yeah? your location. We will explain to you, I mean, it will tell us your station name, yeah? So ensure this is correct. If it's wrong, uh, drop me an email. I'll get it checked, yeah? So this is category. This is the recent tickets. You can see all your recent tickets here, the one that you launched, uh, regardless through phone call and uh, yeah, and uh, my service. So good thing here is that you can track all your service request number here uh, instead of uh, writing the numbers in the book, yeah? Right, just can just put a book aside and use this to track your service request number. So let's get started. How to create a service request through my service? Click here one time to double confirm your station because certain owner they have more than one site, so you will list more than one here. So for this, you have been one here. Once you click here, just click and select a category. So this is where we start to create a service request. Click here, so you'll be directed for this page. Requested. So this is the requester name, yeah, the station and the location. This is the category. This is the category part. And this is the problem, the detailed problem. Okay. Once you are here, you have to choose which are the issue, the category. Okay, you can see lighting, aircon, oven, fuel system, interceptors, and etc. And electrical issues. So for now, for example, I will choose um, few systems for example so here will appear without clicking any without choosing any category this will not appear first here so you have to click this and you will just you will select the problem here so for example where we choose um, display faulty for this so you'll be directed to this description page here okay whereby you have the key in the details here for our CSR to pick up and what you want our CSR to know, okay, the customer service representative to know. So this is like um identify the area, like additional details, okay, free text here, still optional for you to key in. So um what I suggest is that maybe you can, you can just put your name and your contact number, so it'll be easier for us to contact you back if we have any questions to rectify. Okay, and the next one, this is very important, the asset. So you have to cho choose the correct asset, yeah? Okay, this is all the asset uh, attached to a station. It's a drop down, uh, drop down selection and the free text wording here, you can, you can choose to find such keywords, yeah? So for example, uh, we've chosen a few systems, you might want to choose which pump number, yeah? For example, um, choose pump number five or 15, yeah? So. If you choose 15, all the 15 will appear here. Post, nozzle. So if it's a dispenser issue, you choose dispenser. If it's a nozzle issue, you choose nozzle. If it's a host issue, you choose host, okay? So for now, I'll choose this uh, dispenser, display faulty. Okay, you can choose this. Dispenser unit, okay? So ensure it is correctly selected for the asset so that we will send the correct contractor, okay? Attachment, yeah, this is a good feature about my service is that you can um, upload your pictures. So for any other cases, for instance, like you are uh, having difficulties to explain to our customer service representative, you can choose to upload the picture here. Pictures will tell everything, yeah? So this is the service description comment, okay? 
this is very important. This is an, uh, the, the descriptions that will go to a contractor and also will come to CBRE customer service representative as well. Okay, you might want to add here display light unlit, or you can also put not clear. Okay, so you can just indicate here maybe unit still in use or not in use. You just put still in use. Okay. Once everything is correct, just click submit and everything is done. You have a one service request submitted that fast. Okay, this is the request confirmation note. Just ensure you click submit yet so that we will receive the request. Yeah, and that's all. Um, one service request has been submitted that fast. Yeah. So your, re re your service request all will appear here. Yeah. So like just now, I uh, already explained to you all the status and explanations. So you can see here, yeah, what uh, what is actually happening on your service request right now, and why is the status? Okay. I'll be I'll be sharing the slide with you all, yeah, for uh this slide, so you can go through. Okay. So this is very important status, yeah, for you all to know. Okay, and what you need to do. Okay. So yeah, that's all. Um. That's all about my service. It's very fast, yeah, and easy. So um, good luck with that, and I'm uh, looking forward for you all to use my service, yeah. Bye.